you might think when you have gut health issues that it's not a big deal. But your gut health isn't just impacting your digestion. It also affects your mental and physical health as well. That means that mental health issues, muscle soreness, or lack of productivity can all be due to the health of your gut. Now let's get into the science of gut health and how you can have the healthiest gut possible. I'm Julianne, a nurse practitioner who specializes in gut health and GI map testing. So what actually is gut health? Gut health refers to the well-being and the balance of our entire gastrointestinal tract, which includes our stomach, our small intestine, large intestine, rectum, and anus, as well as the many microorganisms that live within it. The GI tract plays a crucial role in digestion, absorption of nutrients, and in overall function of the immune system. So what parts of the body does gut health impact specifically? Let's start with two key areas. Number one, the microbiota. The gut is home to this vast community of microorganisms, including bacteria, viruses, fungi, and other microbes that are collectively known as the gut microbiota. These microbes play a crucial role in digesting food, synthesizing nutrients, and protecting us against harmful pathogens. Next up is the gut-brain connection. Did you know that there is actually a bi-directional communication system between the gut and the brain? And it is called the gut-brain axis. This connection involves various signaling pathways, hormones, as well as the vagus nerve. A healthy gut can influence our mood, stress levels, and our cognitive function, while emotions and stress can impact gut function as well. Now, some other key areas that are very important and gut health effects are, first, our skin. Research shows that a healthy balance of gut microbes is required to have healthy skin. It creates metabolic and immune homeostasis. Imbalances in our gut have been linked with things like acne and inflammatory skin conditions such as eczema and psoriasis. Our weight and our metabolism. An unhealthy gut contributes to weight gain and to metabolic imbalances. It can affect how our body processes and stores fat, and it can lead to obesity and other health-related issues. Now, studies have shown that gut microbes play a pivotal role in regulating metabolism. In fact, there is a key species in the gut known as Acromantia mucinophilia. This keystone bacteria is highly associated with obesity or Otherwise said, the lack of this bacteria we know is associated with obesity. Cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death worldwide. And we know that there are certain gut bacteria that trigger an inflammatory marker known as trimethylamine in oxide or TMAO. Elevations in this inflammatory marker increase your risk of cardiovascular disease. Next up, autoimmune diseases. These occur when our immune system mistakes our body's own natural tissues for something harmful and begins to attack it. Conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, Crohn's disease, and ulcerative colitis are all autoimmune diseases that can be related to an underlying gut issue. Hormone balance is also affected by the state and the health of our gut. We can have implications like polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS, and also hormonal imbalances can affect not only women, but men as well. Lastly, our gut affects our inflammatory response. A healthy gut can lead to chronic inflammation throughout the entire body. This is a very common factor in many chronic diseases, including things like cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. Now that you understand the key systems that our gut affects, let's talk about what it means to actually have a healthy gut. There are a few key characteristics of a healthy gut. First up is effective digestion. A healthy gut can efficiently break down food, absorb nutrients like vitamins, minerals, and macronutrients, and can eliminate waste properly. This ensures that your body receives those essential nutrients that it needs to function properly. Regular bowel movements. When our digestive system is healthy, this results in regular, soft, well-formed bowel movements. Things such as constipation, diarrhea, or irregularity indicate that there may be an underlying gut issue. 
A strong gut lining. The gut lining is composed of a single layer of cells that serves as a barrier to prevent harmful substances like toxins and pathogens from entering into our bloodstream. A healthy gut lining maintains this barrier integrity. An efficient immune system. A well-functioning gut plays a crucial role in regulating our immune system. It helps our body to distinguish between harmful invaders and also beneficial substances, promoting a balanced immune response and also immune tolerance. Low levels of inflammation. A healthy gut is characterized by low levels of chronic inflammation. This chronic inflammation in the gut can contribute to a host of different health issues and are associated with many chronic diseases. The absence of gastrointestinal symptoms such as bloating, excessive gas, abdominal pain, or heartburn is a sign of a healthy gut. A balanced gut-brain axis. The gut and the brain communicate, again, through the gut-brain axis, and a healthy gut supports balanced mental health and emotional well-being. Adequate nutrient absorption. Nutrients from the food you eat are effectively absorbed into a healthy gut. This ensures that your body receives the energy that it needs and the building blocks for optimal function. And finally, healthy weight maintenance. Maintaining a healthy gut can help support healthy weight management by influencing metabolism and reducing the risk of obesity-related issues. Now let's talk about common myths related to gut health. I have seven of them for you. Myth number one, all bacteria in the gut are harmful. The reality is that while harmful bacteria can certainly exist in the gut, the majority of microorganisms in a healthy gut are beneficial. Maintaining balanced gut microbes is essential for overall health and well-being. Myth number two, Probiotics are always beneficial and can cure all gut issues. Probiotics are certainly helpful, but their effectiveness depends on the specific strain of the probiotic and the individual's underlying health issues and condition. Not all probiotics are suitable for every situation, and they certainly may not correct severe gut disorders. Myth number three. Colon cleanses are necessary to remove toxins from the gut. The colon is actually designed to eliminate waste naturally, and colon cleanses are generally not necessary and can actually be risky. They may disrupt the balance of the gut microbiota and cause dehydration as well as other complications. Number four, dairy should be avoided by everyone for gut health. The reality is that dairy intolerance is common, but not everyone needs or has to avoid dairy. Some dairy products can be a part of a balanced diet, especially if you're not lactose intolerant and if you have a good raw or organic grass-fed source of dairy. Myth number five, fermented foods can replace a poor diet. There's actually no one food that can replace a poor diet. While fermented foods like yogurt, and kimchi are beneficial for gut health, they should complement a balanced diet rather than replace it. A diet that's high in processed foods can't be compensated for by solely consuming fermented foods. Myth number six, gut health is only about diet. The reality is that while diet is a crucial factor, gut health is influenced by many things like genetics, sleep, stress, physical activity, and the use of certain medications like antibiotics. And lastly, myth number seven, a cleanse or a detox will improve your gut health. The reality is that detox diets or cleanses are often actually not helpful and can be harmful. The body has its own natural detoxification processes and mechanisms, primarily involving the liver and kidneys. It's important to support those natural systems in order for your body to detox. So what can you do to improve your gut health? First, let's talk about diet. Fiber-rich foods such as Fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, and nuts help to nourish and support our beneficial bacteria. Probiotic-rich foods. Probiotics are live, beneficial, or good bacteria that help to maintain a healthy gut microbiota. These are things like yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut, kimchi, kombucha, and fermented veggies. Prebiotic-rich foods. Prebiotics are non-digestible fibers that can help feed and support the growth of those good and beneficial bacteria. You can get prebiotics from foods like garlic, 
onions, leeks, asparagus, chicory root, and dandelion greens. Diversifying your diet is extremely important. A varied diet can introduce a wide range of nutrients and microorganisms into your gut. Don't stick with the same foods all of the time. Instead, rotate your food choices to promote dietary diversity and diversity in your gut microbiota. Whole foods. Choose whole foods that are minimally processed over those highly processed options. Highly processed foods that contain additives and preservatives can negatively impact our gut health. Lean proteins. Lean sources of protein like poultry, fish, tofu, and legumes are very important as they provide essential amino acids that help with overall wellness. Healthy fats. Opt for healthy fats such as avocados, olive oil, nuts, and fatty fish like salmon. These are not only great for your gut health, but they're excellent for heart health as well. Colorful fruits and vegetables. Try to consume a variety of colorful fruits and vegetables as these different colors Colors indicate different phytonutrients and antioxidants that help to support our gut health. Hydration. Drinking plenty of water to help maintain proper functioning of the gastrointestinal tract is extremely important. Our body is made of mostly water. So we want to consume a minimum of half our body weight in ounces per day. Limiting processed meats is also important. Things like sausage, bacon, hot dogs, these are often very high in not only saturated fats and additives, but they can have preservatives and things like nitrates in them that are harmful for not only our gut health, but our overall health and wellness. Now let's talk about other specific things you can avoid to keep your gut healthy. First up is excessive sugar. High sugar intake actually feeds our harmful bacteria and disrupts the balance of the whole gut microbiome. We really want to try and minimize these processed sugary foods like soda, candy, and try and replace that with natural foods such as fruits, honey, pure maple syrup, dates, artificial sweeteners. Some artificial sweeteners like aspartame and sucralose may alter the composition of the gut bacteria and actually feed bad bacteria in our gut. These things also can ferment in our gut and cause symptoms such as gas and bloating. Highly processed foods. Processed foods that contain additives, preservatives, unhealthy fats, and inflammatory oils negatively impact our gut health. We want to limit these and also just focus more on these whole real foods. Trans fats. Artificial trans fats that are often found in things like fried foods, margarine, commercially baked goods. These are very harmful to both our gut health and our overall wellness. We know that trans fats increase the risk of heart disease and stroke. Unnecessarily taking antibiotics. Now, Sometimes antibiotics may be necessary, but overuse can really disrupt the gut microbiota. So only taking antibiotics when prescribed by a healthcare professional specifically for a bacterial infection that's necessary is recommended. Alcohol. Excessive alcohol consumption can disrupt the balance of the gut microbiota and harm the gastrointestinal lining. Caffeine. While moderate caffeine consumption is generally fine for most people, excessive caffeine intake can irritate the gut lining in some individuals. So if you're going to consume caffeine, make sure you pay close attention to how it affects your digestive system and make your adjustments accordingly. Artificial food additives. Some food additives like emulsifiers, artificial colors, they can have negative effects on our gut. Make sure you're reading food labels and and minimizing your consumption of foods with a long list of ingredients and or additives. Frequently using medications such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, also known as NSAIDs, these are things like ibuprofen. They can harm the gut lining and increase the risk of bleeding in the gastrointestinal tract. And lastly, stress. Chronic stress negatively impacts our gut by disrupting that gut-brain axis we've been talking about. Practice stress management techniques such as meditation, yoga, or deep breathing exercising to mitigate the impact. If you want more videos like this to improve your health, make sure that you like and follow to stay on top of the cutting edge of root cause medicine. You can find me at julieannwellness.com or on Instagram at julieannwellness.